bait time. Good fish. Hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. I am working this fall run here. Striper sipping on sand eels and shallow water. And I am gonna log my first citizen science striper on the for the Massachusetts Department of Marine Fisheries. Tracking catch or release survivability for striped bass on the app. And it'll take a fraction of the time as we did last time with the clipboards. So the beauty of logging these fish for the Massachusetts Department of Marine Fisheries Citizen Science Project on the Got One app is it takes a fraction of the time. So we've done the hard part. Remember to document the time that we hooked this up for tracking how long it's taking me to reel this fish in. In this case on light tackle, single hook lure. So we're gonna pay attention to where the hook is placed in the fish's mouth. Take a quick length measurement, picture, that we can pop into the Got One app, answer a few questions, and we're in business. Chunky little striper, bring it alongside. See hookers in my way for the moment. Put the rod in the holder. Rod's like the blind, so I have room to work. All right, so here we go. Chunky straight pass. Now this is a bit of a challenging hook placement. And you can see that it's not ideal. It's in the fish's gills. And this is actually a good example to show how important tracking and survivability of fish are because sometimes even with a single hook you do get it into a bad spot so I'm just going to change the position of the hook angle it out the way it came this is why I like using single hooks because that was in a bad gill position but look no blood this fish is still healthy you can still feel it struggling in my hand so I don't believe we've injured it we're going to go through all the documentation here Noting as I go, there's no blood. I'm going to measure it from the tip to the tail. We're going to call that 26 inches. And a smile for the iPhone. Got a picture with a Got One app. Now, this is also going to come in handy because it's good fishing log data for us. We're going to document how long we've had this fish out of the water and get it released. So nothing different about this release. The point of the study, oh look, we did notice we got some blood coming from the fish. So the point of the study is to understand how many fish get hooked different ways and how strong they swim when you release them. And then off it goes. 